Hi, welcome to 5 Minutes Java with NetBeans, and we are using NetBeans 7.2. Today I'm going to show you how to ask the user for input and then use that input in the program. So click the new project, to let's create a new project. Make sure Java is selected for the categories and Java application is selected for the project. Click next. Let's give it a name called Hello World Who. And we'll give it, we'll change the, the package name this time to test. And the class name is still remain as Hello World Who. Let's click finish. A new project has been created. It's called Hello World Who. And you see that the package name is test and the class name is, and the file name is uh, Hello World Who. And that's type system dot out dot first I let's say use print system dot out dot print line hello world just like we did last time click save and test run it since there's no there's no syntax here so it, it runs and it says hello world. Next, let's see if we can ask the user for input. We want to ask, we want to be able to say hello world to say hello to different people. So let's remove the world, leave a space there and type. We'll, we'll be using buffered reader class. So buffer reader, let's just call it name reader equal new buffer reader and buffer reader. So this is what we're calling the buffer reader constructor. And buffer reader takes a parameter input of input stream reader and input stream reader takes an input of system or input stream add a semicolon so now also you see that there's there's um, the red lines that shows that there's those are grammatical errors so put your cursor double just single click this light bulb and it will say it will give you hints on how to fix the, these grammatical errors so click import and you see that some layer went away. Again, click again. Add import for input stream reader. Now all the problem went away. So it save it, save the file. And then now we're going to ask the user for their name. First we say we use system.out.print instead of print line because we don't want to add a new line character we want to add we want to um, ask the user to type on the same line as our, our question so we type what is your name and control s now let's just print out print line says your name is something Let's save and we need to so when the user type in what is your name we need to save it somewhere let's use string and variable the variable name na name equal name reader dot read line so the name reader will read the user input into a string variable and now let's see what kind of problem we have we have um oh there's a in this line this method there could be exception that are thrown so for us we we can either add throw and catch around or add 
or act or cause in this main method. So here I'm going to surround the statement with try, catch. And I'm going to copy these two lines inside of the try clause. So notice that there's a try clause, and you and also when you put your cursor here, you see when you put your um, your cursor in the open bracket, you will see that both open and closed bracket all lit up. So you know that what's inside of here, it's inside of the try clause, and what's inside of the catch clause will be inside of the catch open and closed brackets. So in the try clause, there are, these are the code that could have cause exceptions to be thrown, and the try clause is where we determine, where we handle the exceptions that are caught. Okay, now, click save, and we're going to just print out the name, this name that are being read, so to append the name to the string of your name is, just use the as sign. Click save. And now let's test it. Again, to test it, click this button. What is your name? So click, click the run panel and type in, I'm going to type in Jessica. It says your name is Jessica. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.